Welcome inside the Statler Recreation Center. Game six of this North Division semifinal series is three to two for the Mountain View Colts. They can win with a victory here tonight. Statler trying to force a decisive game seven. Davin Natastad, the starter for Statler. Thomas Della Siega starts for Mountain View. Game seven would be on Monday night back in Didsbury if necessary. A bit of a lineup change here as the Ross brothers step onto the top line with Dylan Houston. Over to the far side, the Colts will put this one in deep. Now it's set up the near side boards. Austin Jacobson skates right onto it. Here's Eric Ross. Ross comes right in. Nifty move at the line, tries to put this into uh, Mountain View territory. Vander Zag over to the far side, Brown, and now there's Sutherland. He gets bumped at the line and offside are the Statler Lightning. Statler upsets Airdrie in round one in the best of three Survivor Series in all three games. And have hung in there pretty good with the league uh, pennant winners. Regular season pennant winners, I should say. The Mountain View Colts here in game six they are. But here's Anderson shoots, save, rebound comes right to Eric Ross. Ross is knocked off, and Anderson right back up the wall. Here's Anderson right in front. Club save. Davin Natastad, and he's going to hold on. Great stop in tight by Natastad. Face off left side of Natastad. Getty on it against Quaid Cassidy. Draw one by the Colts. Here's Leatherdale. Far side to Visser. He puts it wide. Quaid Cassidy steps onto this one. Moves it up the near side boards for Ethan Ross. Ross going to carry it in. Ross looking to get this one to the net. He centers it. Quaid Cassidy. Backhanders stopped by Delisiega. Got it with the right pad. Sylvester in the battle there. Back to the line, Tristan Nixon. Sylvester, far side. Quaid Cassidy shoots, it's blocked. Mitch Visser moves this one up to Jack Vergallen. And Vergallen pinched off there. Wagner in his own zone. Red Deer hosts three hills up next. That's at 8.30. Red Deer, or sorry, that's at uh, 4.30. Red Deer can win the series with a victory in that game. Here's Matt Sylvester. Tied up along the far sideboards. Now Leatherdale up to Mitch Visser. Visser's going to try to carry it in. Taken off the puck deftly by Ty Wagner. Now Cassidy moves. It's going to come to Jonathan Fournier. Takes a hit to make a play. Comes to Ethan Ross. Drops off Fournier. Jonathan Fournier at the line. Stolen from him. Clink's going to try to move this one up ice. Here's Clink into the middle. Peyton Rothenbush. Rothenbush over to the near side. Allen Clink dropped off Mulgrove. Fournier, now Brendan Tucker starts right in. Tucker is knocked off of the puck. Lane Rothenbush, now to Allen Clink. Clink to the far side, Regan Kine. Kine, he skates right in on the right wing. Kine, he's knocked off of the puck. <clears throat> Allen Clink in the corner. Mulgrove trying to dig it loose for Statler. And there is Drew Cassidy in there, but the Colts dig it loose. Houshin, time, right in front. One chance, two chance. Jalinas denied. Ryan Jalinas, a real good look on Davin Nadestad, who keeps it out. This puck will come loose from the end boards right to Nadestad. He is going to hold on. We'll get a draw deep in Stetler territory as the Mountain View fourth line nearly cashes for the Colts for the opening strike here in game six. Draw one by the Bolts in their own zone. Jeff Turnay tied up near side corner. Colt Bolts will move this one over to the far side. Cassidy, now Riley Jacobson unable to get it out. Ryan Jalinas, Drew Cassidy moved up to Jeff Turnay. Turnay's going to start right in and put this right in deep. Gathered there by... Regan Keim in his own zone. Keim going to try to move this one out. Hard hit along the far sideboards. Riley Jacobson's got control for Stetler in the neutral zone. Moved it to Kieran Ross. Ross carries in, but he is offside with Brendan Bardwell. And the whistle goes. Alan Plink. Four points through these six games. That's good enough for the team lead for Mountain View. But they've been getting scoring by committee. 
find themselves on a three games to two lead and a chance to move on to the North Division final. Here's a chance, settle into the middle, backhander. Great save by Natastad. As we discussed, if Mountview can get to the division final, it would be their fifth trip to the final four in the last six seasons. Mountain View uh, has fast become one of the premier uh, organizations in the Heritage Junior Hockey League since winning their first title back in 2016. Now it's Vander Zag along the far sideboards trying to dig this one loose. This one will come into the middle. Peyton Rothenbush, now Logan Brown. We're I'm sorry, Kale Brown moves this one to Anderson, try to dig this one free. It'll come instead to Houston over to the far side, Wiley Jacobson. Jacobson stepped into there, and Kale Brown will try to move this one up and out. It'll come to the far side. Here's Clink. Allen Ryan Clink comes in. He's bumped there by Justin Fournier. Now here comes Jeff Turnay with speed. Turnay over the line, left wing. Turnay trying to take to the middle. He can't. Lane Rothenbush skates onto this one. Over to the far side, Alan Clink's got it. Clink to his brother Ryan. Ryan Clink right in, one timer! Rothenbush denied, glove save made. By Davin Natastat, 7.26. to go here in this first period. One timer! Great save, Natastat. Mulgrove put up the far side, Visser into the corner, Getty. Getty right up front, great save, Devin Natastat. He holds on again. Natastat's gonna cover that up. Draw one by the Colts. Wyatt Jelinas far side. Jelinas trying to look out front. He does. That one blocked. And Mulgrove to Tucker over to the far side. Jonathan Fournier. Fournier stolen from him by Spencer Dowd. That will come right in over the line. Far side into the corner. Near side Jelinas. Rotten push. Stopped by Natastan. He kept it alive for Drew Cassidy. Now move to Ty Mulgrove. Mulgrove in his own zone. Five and a half minutes to go here. In the first period, Cassidy to Tucker. Tucker's going to try to move this one out. He skates in over the red line and puts it in deep for Stetler. Stroud getting on the bolts a little bit for being hemmed in their own zone. And meanwhile, here comes Corbin Hauschen right back into that zone. Now here's Reagan Kime. Kime shoots it from distance. Love save Gavin Natastat. He's going to hold on to that. 421 to go in this first period. 0-0, it's game six of the North Division semifinal. Three games to two lead for Mountain View. Over to the far side, Visser into the middle, house. and now Getty can't pull the trigger. It'll come instead to Drew Cassidy. Trying to knock this one out to the line, they cannot do so. And now Nixon turns it over to Ross, it'll come down to Corbin Houshen in the neutral zone. Houshen stolen off of him. Here's Quade Cassidy. Cassidy over to the far side. Matt Sylvester. Drew Josh Getty. Kicks this back into the middle for Austin Wagner. Wagner now Quade Cassidy. Cuts right in. Cassidy a backhander. Goes wide. Matt Sylvester tied up in behind the Mountain View goal. Jack for gallon has got it for the Mountain View Colts. Trying to put that one right up the gut. It's skated right onto it on a steal. Here's Alan Clink to the net. Deny! Great save by Davin Natastad. And now here comes Quade Cassidy. Nifty move. Trying to step around his man. He will. Now cutting to the net. And he's going to get a stick into the feet of Houshen. And so though Stetler gets the look offensively, they're going to be the ones taking the penalty. Cassidy will go off for tripping, and the first power play of Game 6 will go the way of the Mountain View Colts with a minute 44 to go in the first period. Draw one by Stetler. And Jonathan Fournier is going to carry this one right out. Now to Houston. Bardwell chopped off. Teed up there by Cassidy from the line. It gets blocked, and there's Anderson moving it to Cole Sutherland. 
Sutherland trying to drive it wide here for the Bolts. Teeing it up. It gets fanned on, though. Fournier now moves it over to the near side. Bardwell will go the length of the ice. Minutes ago in the first period, Spencer Dowd moves this one to Josh Getty up the near side boards. Getty, he's going to try to carry it in. Poked off of him. Bardwell spins and fires this the length of the ice. 40 seconds to go in the period. 53 in the Mountain View power play. Now here's Josh Getty. Getty carrying it right in. He's knocked off the puck, and he will step in over the line. Offside. Face off just outside the Statler blue. Eric Ross has got the puck. Ross will come in over the far side blue line. He's knocked off of it. Dow gets punched in there by Fournier. Fournier back to the line. Ross tees it up. It gets blocked into the near corner. And now here's Jacob Vanderzag. Final seconds coming off the clock. Vanderzag letting one go. It's blocked. And that will do it for this first period. Through one, we are scoreless here in game six. Between the Mountain View Colts and the Stetler Lightning. Though the game is scoreless, Mountain View absolutely dominates that period. Nine to one, the shots on goal. Not a period you want. If you are uh, facing elimination, which Stetler is, and the Mountain View Colts will win the draw. 13 seconds to play on the power play. This one lifted the length of the ice by the Bolts, though, and that should do it. We are back to five on five. So Stetler gets a kill. We'll see if they can use that to build some momentum because it's been all Colts through the first 20 minutes here. Here's Cole Sutherland over to the middle. And a good defensive play there. It'll come right up the gut to Kieran Ross. Ross, he got run over there on the near side. It'll go to the far side. Colton Anderson moves to Josh Getty, and Getty will carry in over the line on the right wing, but it's taken away by Wagner. Getty got it right back, but he carries in offside. A minute 29 into the second period here. Hard hit there. Maybe a bit of by by Colts. Uh, excuse me. Um, <laughs> I'll figure it out. Evan Ingram. Draw one by the Statler Lightning, and here is Austin Jacobson. Poked off the puck, and Houston will carry in offside. The Statler captain, second all-time leading scorer in HJHL history. Here you see Storm, the proud mascot of the Statler Lightning, trying to will his team to victory here. And the draw one by the Bolts. Here they come right in. Here's Houston down the gun. A good blocker save by Thomas Della Siega. Now here come the Mountain View Colts. Powering right in. Dropped off. Here's Jacob Andersag. He tees it up. A good stop there by Davin Natastad. Fournier trying to carry it right in. Justin Jonathan Fournier tried to center that one. Couldn't. Tucker tied up along the far side wall. Here is Cole Sutherland. Now to Cale Brown in front of his own net. Brown moves over to Allen Clink, and Clink will carry this one right in. Clink stolen there by Bowman. Jonathan Fournier moves to Ty Mulgrove. Mulgrove gets popped there by Vanderzag. But Fournier's got him right back. Mulgrove trying to step over the line and get a shot away. He can't yet. Now Fournier spinning, firing. That blocked. I'm not sure how that didn't go in. I don't think Thomas Delasiega knew where the puck was. Four and a half minutes here into the second, still scoreless. Here's Peyton Rothenbush. Rothenbush shoots, stopped by Davin Natastad, and he is going to hang on to that. Should Stetler find a way to win this thing, Monday night would be game seven of this series. South Division yesterday saw the Cochran Generals win their do or die game five by a 5-2 margin. That series will continue tomorrow. Game six from Medicine Hat. Now this puck is touched up. Leatherdale's go to the penalty box. <clears throat> or sorry, it's Getty, not Leatherdale. Getty got to stick into the feet there of Quade Cassidy and the Statler Lightning. We'll have a look on the power play here. Eric Kieran Ross. 
excuse me, in Dylan Houston. Draw one by the Bulls. Here's Kieran Ross. He put it just wide. Eric Ross out of the corner. Ross shoots. It goes wide. Rims around the boards. Held in there by Sylvester. Now Quade Cassidy. Down the wall. Kieran Ross. He's tripped up. Stadler going to two man advantage here. It's touched up. The rebound is just sitting there. And 94 seconds of five on three times. Spencer Dowd is going to be the one going off. Gets the stick right into the feet there. A dangerous trip. Uh, right kind of head first through the boards, but nowhere's for the wear is Kieran Ross. So a five on three power play and a chance to open the scoring. Houston, Eric, and Kieran Ross are out there now. Here's a chance for Eric Ross. And that one stopped and held on to by Thomas Della Siega. Houston against Visser on the draw. Houston wins it cleanly. However, this one might get to line and out. No, Sylvester holds it in. Five side, one timer. What a stop by Della Siega. Not sure how he got across to keep that one out. Visser to Houshin, Houshin the length of the ice. Still a minute to go on the Stetler, five on three. Sylvester, looking to move this one up ice. He hits Eric Ross, carries it on the left wing, into the middle, a one-timer blocked. Vergallon, he will clear, but not all the way down. Cassidy needed to Sylvester in the neutral zone. Carrying in right wing, this is Kieran Ross. Now to the near side, Houston, into the middle, Eric Ross. Shot block, held it at the line by Sylvester. Up top, Cassidy. He comes in on challenge. Cassidy shoots it. Stopped by Thomas Delasiega. And he's going to hold on to that. 13 seconds to go in the two-man advantage for Stetler. Draw one by the Colts and set the length of the ice. So that should at least get Mountain View one man back here. Now down to 26 seconds of power play time for Stetler. Now coming here is Riley Jacobson. Right up to the near side. One timer save. Rebound! Oh, Delisiega just holds on to that. He's crashing the net with speed was Brendan Tucker. Tucker's the original one who got it away. And Right in the vicinity there was Ty Mulgrove. Ten seconds to go on the Stetler man advantage. Tucker on the draw against Evan Ingram. And Ingram will win it cleanly. Vanderzang now to Clink. Clink will go the length of the ice. And that'll do it. We are back to five on five. So a massive penalty kill there for the Mountain View Colts. It was a lengthy five on three. Here's Alan Clink in his own zone. Score remains... Uh, score less on the far side. Anderson stolen from him. Mulgrove into the middle. Here's Brendan Bardwell. Bardwell taking it wide. Looking into the middle. Bardwell can't get it there. Lane Rothenbush is knocked off it. Here's Cole B Kale Brown. Knocked off the puck. Bardwell to the line. Ro Austin Jacobson. Jacobson shoots this through traffic. Good block. And now here's Evan Ingram. Ingram carrying it right in for the Mountain View Colts. Ingram shooting. Good pad save made by Davin Natastad and Brendan Bardwell will carry this one out. Bardwell gains the center line and puts it in deep for the Statler Lightning. Regan Kime tied up far side boards and Wyatt Jelinas has control. Spencer Dowd working this one out. Dowd carrying it right in. Dowd, little move. Trying to get into the middle. He can't back to the point. Here's Wyatt Jelinas. Now Regan Kime comes to Ingram. Ingram waiting, shooting, glove save by Tavin Natastad, 9.07 to go here in the second period, still scoreless here in game six. Draw one by the Bolts, here comes Rost right up through center. Ross to Sylvester. Sylvester trying to drive it wide, can't. Brown skates right onto it in the defensive zone. Dropped off for Allen Clink. Clink steps around his man, tees it up, and a good stop by Natastad. No rebound. He's going to freeze that one with 8.21 to go. Face off right side of Natastad. 
Clink against Cassidy on the draw. Clink won it cleanly back to the line. Good hit on Vanderzeg, but a good hit conversely on the Lightning player. And now here's a chance! Mountain View, and that was Ryan Clink. Good glove save by Davin Natastad. He freezes it. It's 7.56 to play here in the second period. No scoring to speak of yet in game six. Draw one by the Bolts. Here's Eric Ross. Ross trying to carry this one out. Can't. Leatherdale at the line. Leatherdale stolen off of him. And another penalty coming up again to Mountain View. Houston was hooked up this time. Here's Ty Wagner. Now to Eric Ross. Ross with a toe drag in the neutral zone. Lost control and it's touched up. So this time Zane Leatherdale will go to the box. I thought it was going to him last time. Leatherdale hooks up Houston off of his own turnover. He doesn't like the call. Face off left side of Thomas Delasiega. Stetler with another look on the power play. Five shots, they're 0 for 2. Now one timer, oh and a stick just craters on Ross. And a penalty is coming up now to Dylan Houston. So four on four for a buck 48. Not a great penalty for Houston. Is he just is going to get the stick right into the midsection here of her gal, and Houston is unhappy with the call as well. Face-off won by the Lightning. Fournier moves to Jeff Turnay. Turnay now to Matt Sylvester. Sylvester, he's looking to move this one in. He does. Sylvester. Taken off it by Vanderzeg. Vanderzeg takes right in for the Mountain View Colts. Four on four here. Now here's Full Sutherland. The Getty! He shoots and scores! Josh Getty opens the scoring here in the second period. One nothing, Mountain View. Sutherland and Vanderzeg will get the assist. And Getty just drives right to the net, picks up a beautiful pass from Sutherland, and puts this thing off the post and in. And the Mountain View Colts score a big one here early in the second period. Still four on four for a buck 16. Draw one by the Bolts. 6.20 to go here in the second period. Trying to dig this one loose Sutherland, unable to do so. Cassidy moves it over to the near side. And now Ethan Ross gives chase back in his own zone. Austin Bowman, now to Sylvester. Sylvester now Ross. Ross right back to Austin Bowman. Stetler now in need of an equalizer. Bowman tries to cut right in. Good defensive play by Vergallen, but Bowman's got it right back. Bowman shoots, save, rebound, cleared. Good defensive play hard on the rebound there by Corbin Houchen. Here come the Colts. Ingram right out front. A one-timer stopped by Natastad with the blocker. Over to the far side. Getty can't get this one under control. Eric, Eric Ross comes right back the other way for Stetler. Ross has got a man in the net. Ross shoots it. It goes just wide. Here's Zane Leatherdale. Leatherdale lost it. Visser on it. We're back to five on five. Visser in the corner. Visser out to Vanderzag. He shoots. Save down the stat. Covers it up. No, he won't. He'll play it to Tristan Nixon. And Ty Wagner will come out through center. Wagner on the left wing. Tied up far corner with Spencer Dowd. This one held in. No, it's not held in. It's offside at the line on Stetler. Here you see your top 10 in goals. Josh Getty there, now four. Second in the playoffs. Draw one by the Stetler Lightning and put in deep. Here's Ross in the battle. He's gonna come out with it, at least for now. He's now in the deep. That's Jalinas, Pastor Dare. Colts will carry this one out. They lead 1-0. Jalinas at the line, and he is offside. 3.01 to go here in this second period. Out there, Peterson, Jalinas, and Kime for the Mountain View Colts. Today, Bardwell Jacobson for the Statler Lightning. Jacobson knocked off of it. 
Well, he's going to move this one out to uh, his brother Riley. And now here's Turnay. Shoots. Great save by Delasiega. Turnay had a real good look to tie this thing up. Bardwell back to the line. Wyagelinus. Kime now in the corner. Two minutes to go, second period. Regan Kai trying to cut right in. There's uh, Kime in the corner. Tied up with Jacobson, Austin Peterson. To the line, Rothenbush. Shoots, there's Peterson again! Great stop by Nanistad. And another penalty coming up again to Mountain View. Slashing gonna be the call. Against the Colts and they will get a clear here early on the kill. Here is a chance though for Kieran Ross carrying right in over to the far side. And the gallon uh, clear, get this to Clink. Clink will send it the length of the ice. A big point in this game. Right up the gut, right up the near side boards. It comes to Houston. Houston hits Ross. Maybe a two on one. Eric Ross shoots it from distance. Glove save. Thomas Della Siega. And he's going to hold that. 35.8 to go here in the second period. Minute 18 to go on the Statler power play. Draw one by Houston. Jacobson teed up by Ross. That's a great chance. Now Houston side of the goal. Houston, they're going to get a shot away. He shoots. He hit the post. Dylan Houston ran it off the iron. Cleared by the Colts. Maybe one final rush here in the second for Statler if they hurry. Jacobson to Houston. Houston's going to carry it right in. Houston can't get to the middle in the second period. Will come to a close. Mountain View with a 1-0 lead. The Mountain View Colts strike in that second. Josh Getty gets the goal. They lead it 1-0. Stetler out shoots Mountain View 11 to 10 in that period. And they'll start on the power play, but they're down 1-0. In this game, they trail one zip. In a series, they trail three games to two. Need an equalizer in this period. Stetler's going home. A chance here for Ross. Ross gets it. He scores! What an individual effort by Eric Ross. He's tied the game on the power play. And the Stadler Lightning declare emphatically that they're not going anywhere just yet. Eric Ross gets right through, finds a loose puck, puts it home past Thomas Della Siega. And exactly the start the doctor ordered in the third for the Statler Lightning. Just nine seconds in. Ross, and it will go unassisted. Here's Dylan Houston now carrying it up over center. Houston trying to get it around uh, Brown. Can't do so. Jacob Vanderzeg will start right out for the Mountain View Colts. Poked all the way back into Colt territory. Kale Brown on it. Brown now to Jacob Vanderzeg. Zeg. Vanderzeg moves away from his defender in his own zone. And now here's Colton Anderson. Anderson chased around, but he gets it to Ingram. Ingram to Cole Sutherland. Sutherland drops off Anderson. Now Ingram. Ingram driving wide. Ingram trying to get a shot away. Teed up by Sutherland. It gets blocked. And now it's going to come to Cole Sutherland again. Sutherland stolen away from him by Eric Ross. He scored the game time goal for Stetler. It's 1-1. Dylan Houston trying to carry it right in. Houston looking back to the line. He hits the trailer. A great save on Kieran Ross by Thomas Della Siega. Nearly gives the Bolts a 2 1 lead. 
draw in the offensive zone, one by Statler. Here's Ethan Ross, one-timer short side, but a great stop by Delasiega on Matt Sylvester. It's about three minutes gone here in the third period. Here's Vergallon. Vergallon will start right out. And now he comes into the middle, Zane Leatherdale, he shoots! Oh, he didn't miss by very much. Ethan Ross going to carry this one out of his own zone. Now in on the left side, took a hard hit. Leatherdale back into his own zone. Oh, he got hit hard. Stout be screaming for a penalty. Didn't get one. And a centering pass denied by Thomas Della Siega. Here's Getty. Getty carries right in. Getty shoots. Stopped by Nadestad. He'll freeze that. Four and a half minutes into this third period. Game six, North Division semifinal. There's Getty now to Mulgrove. Mulgrove will look to move this one up ice camp. Tied up there by Rothenbush. Nixon over to the far side. John, Justin Fournier. Sorry, it's Jonathan Fournier. He's in deep. He gets a stick parallel to his man. And now Stetler is going to be charged with a minor penalty and Mountain View will go to the power play a chance to regain the lead as Jonathan Fournier got the stick into the midsection there hooked up Jack for Gowan chance to take the lead back for the Mountain View Colts here Visser, Klink, Rothenbush the power play unit for the Colts and it's going to come with Drew Cassidy, this one lifted the length of the ice, down to Allen Clink, Clink down and Mitch Visser, Visser looking to move it wide, Visser out front, Rothenbush shoots, stopped by Nadestad, he's going to freeze that, 14-03 to go here in the third period, do or die game for the Statler Lightning, either going home or forcing a game seven in Dinsbury, Winner take all on uh, Monday night. This one cleared by the Bolts. Coming up after this game, don't forget Red Deer taking on three hills in game six of that series. Red Deer with a three games to two lead. Here comes Mitch Visser. Centers it. Here's Van Der Zegg. Shoots, scores! Van Der Zegg sneaks one through. A squeaker on Devin Natastad. And Vanderzeg's got the Colts back on top. It's two to one. Vanderzeg just underneath the blocker and kind of misplayed that. Did Davin Natastad. And you'll see right here off the pad, up off the blocker, and in a really a uh, perfectly placed shot by Van Der Zag. Now with 13.36 to play in the third period, Stetler is in need of another equalizer. Draw one by the Mountain View Colts. Here's Josh Getty, Getty over to the far side, a one-timer, band on, and now here comes Rost. Ethan Rost down the far side, into the middle, here's Quade Cassidy. Cassidy, he can't get the shot away. Corbin Hausha back to the far corner. Peterson lost control of it. Sylvester back to the line. Jacobson. Jacobson looking to move this. Finds Ross. Ross to Cassidy. Cassidy can't pull the trigger. Teed up by Jacobson from the line. And it gets through, but a good save by Thomas Della Siega. Now here comes Regalin up the far side. Regalin trying to center this one. Can't. Jacobson's got it in front of his own net. Ethan Ross down to Matt Sylvester. 11 and a half minutes to go in the third period. Regalin to Wyangelina, shoots, good glove save. Davin Natastad is going to hang on, 11 and a quarter to play here. In the third period, faceoff right side of Natastad, 22 to 15. The draws favor the Bolts. Bolts will win this one too. 
This one will come up the near side boards for Jeff Turnay. Turnay over to the far side, Bardwell. Bardwell up the near side boards. Here's Riley Jacobson. Jacobson going to drive it wide. Jacobson into the middle. Nixon shoots and bounces around. Looked like it took a couple of hops in front, but go went just wide. Ten to play in the third period. Now it's stolen there by Ty Wagner, and Wagner will lead a rush for the Stetler Lightning the other way. Dropped off by the far side. Tucker, he rang it off the iron. Brendan Tucker inches from tying the game again for Stetler. Do or die for the Stetler Lightning in the next nine minutes. Here's Tucker. Tucker trying to get a round that a defender cannot do so. And now here comes Cole Sutherland right in. Sutherland, he's got men going to the net. He spins away from a check up top. Down. Shot blocked. Another shot there from Leatherdale. That gets blocked as well. Jonathan Fournier. His own zone stolen by Sutherland. Now Madistad covered it up, but he'll keep it alive. And in the near side, Cassidy. Eight minutes to play. Cassidy's knocked off the puck into the middle. One timer. Bardwell just missed it. This one set in deep by the Colts. Drew Cassidy looking for an outlet here. Cassidy will skate it out himself. Cassidy right in. Now over to Bardwell on the near side. Fournier the trailer. Glove save! Thomas Dallas Yega. Just under seven to play. A great look for the Stetler Lightning there. Top line out there for Stetler, Houston, Kieran, and Eric Rost. Houston won the draw. Now to Eric Rost, a shot, good save. De La Siega will fall on top of that one. We'll get another draw deep in Mountain View territory. The Colts with a two to one lead. Here in game six. A series they lead three games to two. Houston on the draw, lost it cleanly. And now it'll come to Alan Clink, Ryan Clink, excuse me, but it's skating right onto it in his own zone, Dylan Houston. Houston cuts to the middle, he can't get that one over to the far side. Vanderzag, now to Clink. Clink looking to get it to Peyton Rothenbush, he does. Rothenbush knocked off of it. Now it'll be into the far corner. Five and a half to play here, third period. Here's Kira Ross. Ross will gain the line on the near side, but he's poked off side. Whistle goes. Statler coming just, uh, faceoff coming just outside the Mountain View blue line. Still top line out there for Statler. Now one back to Austin Jacobson. Eric Ross gains the line. He's got Houston. Houston trying to get a shot away. Definitely played defensively. Kieran Ross back to the point, Fournier. Now Eric Ross trying to spin this back to, Ross, to Kieran. He shoots it, it's blocked. Back to the line, it'll come. Wyatt Jelinas is going to have a chance to get this one over center. He carries it offensively too. Centering pass! Oh, Austin Peterson nearly put it away for Mountain View. But here comes Houston to Kieran Ross. Carries in left wing. Ross cannot get to the middle. Mitch Visser stolen off of him. Now it goes to Regan Kime though. Kime. Stops up, teed up by Brown, it goes wide. Getty to Visser, far side time. He couldn't pull the trigger either, it gets blocked and out come the Stetler Lightning. Three to play, Stetler needing the equalizer. Jonathan Fournier knocked off the puck neatly by Jack Vergowan and Vergowan will skate this one and get it up to Kime. Kime takes a hard hit from, Ver from Fournier there, now to Brendan Tucker, nifty little toe drag. Tucker stays with it. Tucker looking to get this one to the net. Can't. Hard hit down low, and Tucker's got it again. Two minutes to go in regulation time. Stetler pulled off an unbelievable comeback in a do or die game in game three against Airdrie. Down two with under a minute left. This time they only need one. Is there another comeback in the cards in an elimination game for the Stetler Lightning? Here's Ty Mogro. Stolen there by, by Kale Brown. Brown will put this one in deep. Final minute here of the third period. We'll keep an eye on Mattistad. As the puck is deep in their own zone, it'll come to Matt Sylvester. Sylvester try to carry it in. Sylvester knocked off it. Getty now to Vergowan. 45 seconds to go. Still in the net is Davin Mattistad. Ethan Rost. Moves this to Fournier. 
36 seconds. It's stolen by the Colts. Far side of the chance. Ingram fanned on it. That one would have sealed the deal. And an early pull here for Stellar. And that is not coming back to the net, but they score. I don't know what kind of miscommunication happened there. But it should have cost the Stettler Lightning their season. Now down by two with 25 seconds to go. Although maybe shouldn't say that yet. They scored the two goals in Airdrie in just under 20 seconds. But 25.7 seconds down two. Things looking bleak and even bleaker. Now as the Colts win the draw. Here's Jacobson right up ice. They're going to pull Natastad again. Natastad on the bench. We approach the final 10 seconds, and the lights are going out here in Stetler. Rothenbush comes right in. Natastad couldn't even get out. Cassidy's got it now. The final seconds come off the clock, and the Mountain View Colts in six games are going to their fifth North Division final in six years. And a valiant effort by the Stetler Lightning. And now we'll do the greatest tradition in sports, handshakes at center ice. Mountain View moves on, Stetler goes home. A lot of dejected faces in the crowd here in Stetler. But uh, look, I would say many probably expected Stetler not even to get through the Survivor Series. And then m probably even fewer might have expected the Mountain View Colts to be taken six games by this Lightning squad, but they were. 3-1 is the final, and the series final is four games to two in favor of Mountain View and uh, Stetler Lightning. They're done. Mountain View will take on the winner of the Red Deer Three Hill Series and uh, see what uh, transpires there later on tonight as your second start of the game you see there is uh, Dylan who was that I don't know why I brain farted but Jacob Vanderzag is your third star sorry Thomas Delasiega he's your second star for the uh, Mountain View Colts and uh, your first star Jacob Vanderzag for Mountain View Let's have a look at your three, at your uh, highlights tonight. Well, Josh Getty gets us off and running in the second period with this one here. 6.25 to go in the period is, uh, so we have to wait, you know, close to 40 minutes, 35 minutes at least for the opener, close to 35 minutes. And, that is the opening goal of the hockey game. Eric Rost, early in the third, just nine seconds in, ties the game for Stetler. Looks like we got ourselves a game here, folks. But a power play goal just over six minutes later for the Mountain View Colts. Put him back on top. This one just sneaks right on through to Avanatistad. And it's 2-1 Mountain View. And then with 20 Five seconds to go in the third. A little miscommunication. An empty net as the puck hadn't even got out from behind their own goal yet. Natastad returned. Tried to scramble back. Just could not get there. Colton Anderson scores. In effect, it's an empty netter. It'll go down as not an empty netter on the score sheet, though. And the Mountain View Colts win game six, three to one. And they win the best of seven series. Four games to two. Thanks for tuning in. Eric Rost was your third star with the lone goal for Statler, by the way. Thanks for tuning in to everyone from Statler. I, I talked to a couple of different guys. I know Austin Jacobson chimed in right at the start. Wanted to be added to the roster, and he was. Uh, a little bit of interaction as well with Dylan Houston, who uh, I know my brother knows pretty well now, playing uh, with him in, uh, in uh, with the wrestlers, senior double A. So, anyway, I want to thank everyone from Statler who's tuned in uh, once or twice. Uh, we encourage you to keep watching, although uh, if you were just there to watch yourself or your team, I get it. Uh, don't forget, at 4.30, we got the Red Deer Vipers uh, taking on the Three Hills Thrashers, so we'll see you for that game.